how is vasomeditech eecp treatment when compared with bypass surgery and angioplasty cardiology is a very complex field and the disease they manage coronary artery disease is also a complex disease so it's boiled down because of the various indication and contraindication for the every treatment strategy the treatment strategy for coronary artery disease also differ as per the disease condition so before going into comparison of eecp and angioplasty and bypass surgery we need to know what is the expectation of the patients and what is the physician who want to achieve in the patient in the treatment of coronary artery disease what the patient expect and what the physician offer there is a wide disparity number 1 as a every patient who was going for a interventional procedure or eecp or a simple medical management the the patient want to achieve certain things number 1 once the treatment is provided to them they want to make sure the disease is cured number 2 after the treatment is provided they want to know that their outcome is changed in the sense that they should be assured that they will not get a heart attack or they will not get rehospitalization because of the same disease number 3 because they have got uh, treated by a very invasive procedure or a non invasive eecp treatment they expect to continue the same lifestyle and without managing their uh, blood pressure cholesterol and hypertension and third and what is the other important factor is what the physician want to achieve now as a treatment process the physician knows as the patient expectation of curing the disease is not possible because coronary artery disease all the treatment strategy provided to you it's only a palliative treatment it is not a curative treatment number 2 once the treatment is completed because bypass surgery and angioplasty would not offer you or guarantee you to reduce the risk of a recurrent heart attack or recurrent hospitalization or the requirement for need for further interventional procedures like bypass and angioplasty again and number third even after the treatment is completed the patients are expected to continue the same management medical management same control over your blood sugar level cholesterol and lipid now the question arises how do you compare all this with a existing treatment condition now eecp offer to improve the blood supply to the heart muscle similar to what a bypass surgery and angioplasty can offer you so all these treatment strategies are same which the focus is to improve the blood supply to the heart muscle so definitely eecp can able to improve the blood supply and also comparative to bypass surgery and angioplasty the improvement in quality of life and improvement in uh, uh, improvement in angina are all very similar in all the three uh, treatment strategy and number 4 is very important because in long term after 5 years the treatment of either bypass surgery or angioplasty or eecp they attain the same quality of life improvement they have the same outcome so by taking eecp you are not losing any advantage what the bypass surgery or angioplasty can give in fact you are taking a benefit similar to a bypass surgery and angioplasty without going through all the risk the angioplasty and bypass surgery which can offer to you